I want to start off with a quote from a famous aviator, French aviator, Antoine saint exupéry This quote may be known to some of you, but I think it bears repeating often. If you want to build a ship, don't drum up people to collect wood, and don't assign them tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea. Epic space adventures plant seeds of economic growth because doing what's never been done before is intellectually seductive. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Space technology has not only impacted but improved the quality of our lives here on Earth. Liftoff of NOAA's GOES R, America's most advanced weather eye in the sky, elevating environmental intelligence to new heights and saving lives. The space program really does give young people, as well as older folks, a lot of inspiration and an urge to continue and to do things bigger and better. Come on in. Out of the way. Okay, so we have full of cameras up here, and of course, a robotic workstation just like in the lab. And there's a beautiful earth. It is this knowledge that we have of the universe, and our knowledge that we have of chemistry, and our knowledge that we have of biology, that allows us to derive the conclusion that no, we are not apart and separate from this universe. We are one with it. I can say one better than that. Not only are we one with it, because these elements are forged in the universe, and they become part of life as we know it. It's not simply the fact that we are in the universe. But, ladies and gentlemen, the universe is in us. Seize the time. Live now. Make now always the most precious time. Now will never come again. And our small planet, at this moment, here we face a critical branch point in history. What we do with our world right now will propagate down through the centuries and powerfully affect the destiny of our descendants. It is well within our power to destroy our civilization and perhaps our species as well. If we capitulate to superstition or greed or stupidity, we can plunge our world into a darkness deeper than the time between the collapse of classical civilization and the Italian Renaissance. But we are also capable of using our compassion and our intelligence, our technology and our wealth to make an abundant and meaningful life for every inhabitant of this planet, to enhance enormously our understanding of the universe and to carry us to the stars. Thank you.